I think the um, I completely agree that primitivism, like returning to some arbitrary point, is is not the way the way forward. Um, and it's I guess the way my instinct is that um, the problem isn't so much where we're at. The problem is our lack of awareness about what's happening. You know, so so when if one is individually being kind of governed by um, you know traumatic uh, coping mechanisms as a result of trauma and it's unconscious, then you could be living in a very, um, with a lot of discord and, and not in harmony with people. But bringing awareness to those, to those kind of dynamics is what allows one to kind of at least free, free yourself to some extent. Um, and I, I think at the societal level, just understanding um, that we're, you know, like, so, so all of this separation stuff I think is, is rooted in, in fear and anxiety, right? Like survival anxiety. Um, and so if we're unconsciously being kind of emotionally hijacked and we're saying, no, like rush forward, rush into the, the you know, the technological program, rush to progress, like to these quick fixes. Um, to me, the problem seems to be a lack of being able to step back and ground oneself and see what's going on. Um, so, so if we could move into the future through raising awareness, does that resonate with you? Yeah, uh, I would say, yeah. And, and awareness of what is the question? Because the technological program of control, which we're seeing in um, our current time with COVID-19, uh, but not just in, for COVID, for pretty much any crisis that we face, um, our default response is to find something to control, to, to, to become even more the lords and possessors of nature. The, res the, the response of find something to control, find something to fight, find something to dominate. That is built into the conception of self that modernity offers to us. This, the, the self that is separate from each other and the collective human self that is separate from nature, that then sees the world in terms of competitors and enemies, and therefore sees well-being as uh, a progressive uh, victory over those competitors and enemies, for example, microbes. Uh, and, and, and as well, sees human progress. It's not just competitors, it's also the random, indifferent, whimsical forces of nature that have no purpose or, and no intelligence in and of themselves. The, the mind of modernity actually denies what I just said, that nature has an innate tendency toward greater and greater life and complexity and sees the evident increase in life and complexity as, as uh, a sequence of accidents, um, of you know, random fluctuations of atoms and void that give the appearance of increasing life and complexity, but that could change overnight. We've gotten lucky, and if we wanna stay in a world of life and complexity, we have to control things because we're always on the verge of chaos. So in that mindset, order and control uh, are equated with good and chaos uh, is evil. Uh, lack of control is dangerous. That wouldn't make sense if there is a larger intelligence that, that um, includes us, that encompasses all of life. And because then we don't have to, in order for the world to become more and more beautiful, we no longer have to control the world. We can instead participate in the unfolding of that beauty and, and listen for what our role is in the next stage of that unfolding. And we can become allies of the world and not opponents of the world, seeking to conquer it, to improve our lot. So that's the the... Um, I, would, I, I would call that a mythological level. Um, what is the nature of the universe that needs to change if our civilization is going to do anything different on Earth than we've been doing? That's the awareness. The, the awareness you're talking about, I, I think it's an awareness of, of who are we really and what, is, what actually is the nature of this reality and what is our relationship to other beings in it?